Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to Hacking Soft Storage. It is Friday morning, and I'm actually recording it on Friday morning for one of the, I, I normally, apart from Mondays, I don't normally record these live, I normally record them in, in front. Anyway, it's Friday morning, and guess what? The awards happened on Wednesday evening, and we'll get to that in a minute. But first of all, I want to tell you about how I eventually got there. Oh my God, it was an absolute nightmare for me. And then I want to tell you about Thursday morning. I think it's Thursday morning, because Jesus Christ, God. I was, I was not in a good good state on Thursday. Um, but yeah, Thursday, Thursday, oh, I, I, so first of all, when we get in there, I've got my sat-nav on and I don't normally go into big cities. Big cities intimidate me. I don't know why. Big buildings, loads of people around and I don't know, I just get intimidated. And um, and I'm thinking, right, sat-nav says go down here, but I can't go down here because it's a taxi and bus lane. So I'm going to have to go around. Unfortunately then, my sat-nav decided not to update. No signal. Who gets no signal in a big city like Birmingham? Me. And so I go around the roundabout and think, shit, I'm, I'm running, I'm, I'm not late, but I'm, I, time isn't on my side here. So I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to go in this bus lane. And so I go in this bus lane. I'm like, what am I doing here? I can't believe it. Absolute nutter. I'm on the phone with my wife at the time. I said, Claire, you won't believe this. I'm in this bloody bus lane. And then I don't know if it wasn't because I was concentrating or what, but I ended up in a sodding tram lane, a tram lane going through the center of Birmingham and people are taking pictures of me laughing and pointing at me. I'm like, oh my God, I need to get out of here quick. And then when I get to the postcode, I realize that I don't know what hotel I booked in because my wife booked it for me. So I'm on the phone with her. I say, Claire, what's her hotel called? She's driving at the minute. She goes, I ain't got a clue. I don't know what it's called. And so uh, long story short, I got there and um, yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a wonderful evening. I've got to say though, um, for somebody who it comes across like I'm an extrovert and all this, I'm not. I've got massive introvert, introverts tendencies and I'm not very good at English either. And and so them sort of situations make me nervous as hell. I don't know why, I just get nervous. Um, I love talking to people, but my problem is the reason why I get nervous is because there's so many people there. I'm terrible with names. I am absolutely terrible with names. So although I know the people, I don't know their names. I don't know your names. And I'm, I'm, I'm really bad. And then everyone's wearing these name tags. So I'm trying to look down when they're not looking, thinking, oh, yes, that's who you are. And But then the catch here, looking at the name tag, and you're thinking, oh, that that's bad. That's... um. But I don't know, just, I don't want them to feel as though that they don't matter. And so I get nervous, I get embarrassed about the situation, I forgot the names. And it's not because, oh, I've just got a shower. And it's not because, um, it's not because I don't like them, respect them, you know, it's just because I'm just terrible. There's so many people's names to remember, but I am shocking at remembering names. And uh, yeah, so that's one of the, one of the, I don't know, uncomfortable parts of it. But I presume that everybody's in the same boat, everybody's kind of like the same. And I was talking to one guy, um, Absolutely brilliant guy. I know his name, but I obviously can't say his name on here. And I loved it because somebody came up to us and started talking, uh, started talking away to us. And he just said, sorry, what's your name again? I've forgotten. And he just grabbed his name tag. And I was like, that's how you do it. Just just apologize and say you forgot the name. I'm like, <laughs> So that is something that I should um, definitely learn to do more. Sorry, I've just took off my top because, um, well, not, not, I'm not fully naked, by the way. Um, just because I've took off my jumper because it was hot in here. I've just got on the shower. Anyway, so that was, that was the night. That was when we was getting to the night. And uh, it was, do you know what? The Self Storage Association, the do's, people are just so nice. I mean, don't get me wrong. One person came up to me and said, your podcast is just full of shit. And you know who you are if you listen. I'm probably not even listening. He goes, I like some of it, but a lot of it, you're just full of shit. <laughs> I'm like, you want a drink? <laughs> so yeah, it was it was really really good. And by the way, I love that person. I, I genuinely like him. I think it's I, I think it's funny. Um, I, well, there's always a good a good. We always have a good time when we meet each other. Um, but yeah, it was it was a great it was a great evening. And everybody is so warm, so caring, so nice, so lovely. And so I've got a lot of time for people in the self storage association uh, because everybody seems to want to help each other out in this industry, which is crazy it's crazy because we're all ultimately we're a little bit of competition really if you're in my area i'm your competition vice versa but we don't seem to play that game like that um anyway really quickly because i've got to take the kids to school on thursday morning um i woke up and i'm like oh my head oh no and i'm like where's my jacket where, where the hell's my jacket oh no my jacket's um uh, uh, my jacket's not here and i'm like wait a second where's my car keys where's my car keys and this is at like half past ten after i've gone down and had breakfast and late breakfast and stuff for me uh-oh, my car keys are in my jacket. My jacket isn't here. 
I know where Makaki's must be. They must be at Botanical Gardens. That's where he was. And by the way, at this point, I go outside, check my car and my van. I couldn't actually get in the car park, the hotel parking, because it's a two metre and mine's 2.05 or something like that. So I couldn't actually get in. The height restrictions wouldn't allow me to get in the car parking. So I had to park on the road, which was maximum four hours. So I've got a fine. <laughs> I've got a ticket. Oh, brilliant. It's a great start today. And so I'm carrying this suitcase around. I think you're right, Botanical Gardens. And I look at my phone. Oh, no, I didn't plug my phone in. My phone has got 6% charge, 6% charge. I've got no way of charging it. My charge is in my bag, but I have, I've, I'm out of my room. I've checked out. And so I take my, I take my bag. I t- I, so I go Google Maps, Botanical Gardens, right? It's only a 20-minute walk. I'm walking. So I start walking. And by the way, I have no card. I give Angela on the evening my card. I've got no cards whatsoever. The only means I've got to do to pay is through my Apple Pay. That is it. And my, my watch, my watch is no charge whatsoever, because, again, I didn't charge it. And so that's off. And my fo- my phone has got 6%. And so I put botanical gardens in and I walk 20 minutes. I get there. I said, excuse me, um, I think I've left my jacket here. Duh, 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 duh. And it's like look, looking everywhere. I'm like getting getting a bit stressed out because now it's, it's like half past 11 at this time. And but it's my dad's birthday. We're all going out for a meal. I'm thinking, how the hell am I going to get home? If I don't, I'm going to have to probably get a, t- a train. I can't pay for a train because I'm going to have no battery. I've got no money. Oh, we're stuck. I'm going to be homeless, man, in, in Birmingham. Uh, this, this is how it escalates. This is how it just could, your life can quickly go down. And um, so then I became the technical guy and said, no, nope, sorry, nothing being left. I said, there must be. It must be left. I only went here. I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. I went to another. After the, after the do, I went to somewhere. I've got a stamp on my hand. It's I can't read the stamp anymore. I'm like, Right, so my friend who came with me, um, he's part of Stormo, he's 10% owner. Um, and so I rang him up, Liam, 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 where did we go last night? And he goes, Popwell. I said, did I have my jacket in Popwell? And he's like, um, I think so, I think so. Right, so I Google Popwell. Doesn't open until 10 p.m. I'm like, no! <laughs> At this point, my, my phone charge is, is going down and down and down. And so I start walking, it's only a mile away, so I think I'm going to try it. I give him a ring. I actually get through to somebody. He said, oh, you're very, very lucky. We're not normally here, but we're only here till 3 p.m. 3 p.m., I can do that. It's like 12 o'clock now. I can definitely get there by 3 p.m. And I look how far it is to walk, like 1.2 miles. I can walk it, I can walk it. Anyway, I, and I think, no, why not get an Uber? And so I, I, wanna, I wanna download the app. Um, but then I, I know that it's gonna take all my charge up on my phone. I'm like, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna, I tried to flag one down, this Uber pulls it next to me. And he said, no mate, you need the app first of all. So I never use an Uber, I'm in Beverly. Beverly don't have Ubers. And he said, well, not, nothing I can do mate. You need an Uber app. So I start downloading it. Anyway, after that, he drives off. I'm like, no, 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 no. You were supposed to take me. Anyway, by the way, Uber, absolutely incredible. I book a taxi, I could see where there was. I paid on my Apple Pay. And uh, yeah, and in the end, um, I get to I get to Popwell, start banging on the door, nobody answering. I ring him again, press one for this, press two for that. I'm like, oh no. And I'm just pleading, pleading that I get my jacket and my, my keys are somehow in there. And and then so somebody finally answers and um, I say, Yeah, yeah, I need my jacket. And he goes, You got your tag? He said, because if you leave it in the cloakroom, you get a tag. I'm like, no, man, I ain't got a tag. It was like three in the morning. I have no idea where this tag is. I, I, I don't know. And he goes, oh, sorry, mate, can't help you. I'm like, Buddy, it's the only chance I've got to go home. Otherwise, I'm going to be homeless in 10 years. I'm going to be on your doorstep. I'm going to be like literally begging. I need to get that jacket. My car keys are in there. I can't get home. I've got no battery. It's like 2% now. Please help me. And he, he said, right, you have to describe it to me. I'm like, oh, shit. Um, it's like checkers, kind of gray, pink. Um, it's not, not pink at all. It was orange. And I was like, he goes, um, right. I said, but it's got a key in it. It's got a Volkswagen key with a tag on there, a gym tag in the end. And he's like, Right, I'll go and have a look. Anyway, it comes out with it, and I literally cuddle him. I'm like, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> anyway, so that was my morning. I get back to my car at like 2 p.m. Something like that. I set off home at 2 p.m. after four hours of trudging around Birmingham thinking, where was I last night? Where was my jacket? Who had my jacket? Where was my... Ah. Anyway, so it was, an, it was an eventful day. I finally get home. I had to pull over by the way in the services and have a, have, a, have a nap in the back of my van. And I finally get back home at uh, 10 past six when we're all meeting as it happens at six o'clock at Pizza Express. So yeah, it was, it was, I don't know why I've shared that with you. I just want to share it with you. I just thought, you know what? It's a good insight into seeing how stupid my life is. Anyway, I've got to go in literally two minutes because I'm taking the kids to school. Um, did we win? Yes, we won. We won um, best outdoor self-storage site. I don't even like saying content site. Best outdoor self-storage site in the UK. We won it. We won it. And by the way, I do think, I don't know if we're the best, actually, if we look at what, um, 
but we're pretty good. We're pretty damn good. Our units are purpose-built. They've got plow line inside. They've got actual house-grade insulation in there. We've got electric roller shutters. They've got lights. They are the bollocks, absolute bollocks. So the, we paint them, we look after them, we scrub them down. Ah, oh, they're, they're beautiful. Don't get me wrong, we're very, very expensive compared to out. We, we get over £20 per square foot for containers, for, for container sites. It is stupid, bonkers what we get price per square foot. But they are the best around. They are the, the best in class. Definitely the best in our area. And by the way, the, the competition, there was some really, I, I wanted to give a shout out to just one company because I've, I've always liked them. And that's Tortoise Self Storage. I think their site just looks amazing. I don't know why, why I like it so much. It just looks cared for, loved for. It looks beautiful. And all the rest of them as well. There's some really, I feel as like if they didn't come second or whoever came second, um, not giving them a shout out. But yeah, there's some, there's some amazing self-story sites out there. Um, absolutely fantastic. Really, really impressed with them all. And in the independent of the year, we came runner-up. Stormore Willoughby came runner-up, which is absolutely incredible. It's testament to what we do. We give, um, we started this year by giving 1% of our revenue um, a month away to charity, to local charities, to sponsor kids' footballs, everything we can do. Um, somebody's unfortunately um, got terminal illness. We took we took them on holiday and stuff. We, we didn't take them, sorry. We paid for them to go on holiday and she absolutely loved it. And these just little things in life that once I get this platform, then what I, I'm, I'm a big, big advocate and I'm passionate about it is giving back. For me, that that gives it, it it's, it's worth everything to me. And I, I really appreciate it. I really, I really love doing that. So the more we get, the more we earn, then the more in life I can give back. Anyway, so I just wanted to say that, yes, we won. It was an amazing day, an amazing night. Um, Thursday, the next, ball, next day was a bit bodgy, a bit ropey, a bit scary. Not scary, but a bit weird. How are you doing, bud? Did you know we won the Self Storage Awards? Uh-huh, it. Yeah. So we're award winners now. What's the Best outdoor site in the country. Best, best container site in the country. Not concerned, I don't like it. So we're, we're the best of stories, basically. We're, we're better than everybody listening to this. <laughs> I'm only joking with that. <laughs> we really are in the world. Anyway, I've got to take this kid to school. I love you. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you Monday morning. And I promise you I'll be more professional next week. I've got some super episodes coming up. All right, guys, girls. See ya. Holla. Bye-bye.